Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Motorsport Manager. We are in our second season of our uh, underdog challenge here with the Predator Racing Group. Uh, we are in 10th place, as <laughs> completely expected, and uh, really just focusing on improving our headquarters where we can. Took a little bit of improvement on the car, not a lot, because we just don't really have the headquarters pieces completely in place yet to really get the most bang for our buck there. Um, so it's a little bit slow go starting off. Uh, hopefully you guys are bearing with me as I, you know, just, again, trying a different strategy, trying something slightly different. Uh, we'll take, I guess, the interview. After win today, we were wondering if you had any thoughts on Petra. Uh, sure, we'll just keep things, whatever. Uh, pit crew review. Yeah, we had one mistake. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what led to our accident or something else did, but definitely had one mistake for sure. Let's check here. Um, Wow, you've actually had two mistakes overall. That's pretty bad, buddy. Let's swap you in there. And we'll swap you in there. And I guess that's okay. Actually, can I swap you two guys around? That should, yeah, I was say that, that should lower things quite a bit. Let you guys have a rest. You're at 1.9, which isn't terrible. All the people resting right now are the ones that have made mistakes. So maybe that's uh, that'll work out for us. Um, we're going to improve it. Right, we can't improve parts yet because we have to fix our cars first. Take a little bit longer this time because of the accident, unfortunately. All right, let's check out our improved parts. Um, engines are at 95%. It's pretty good. This is there. Let's see what else we got. Honestly, I think everything's at a pretty good percentage right now that we're going to use. So we can go ahead and go back over to performance. Just let things trickle in on the repairs. Um... I don't know what's the lowest here. We got a 75 down here. We'll do that. Keep focusing on fixing those things up as much as they can because those are our parts for next year. About to have some more sponsors coming in, some more money. Oh, you know, I bet we can start working on another part, can't we? Yes. So we did brakes, we did suspension. We will do the gearbox next. Um, 25 to max looks like the best thing we've got. And we will go with that. It's actually not going to be a part that's got any risk involved either, so we might be able to go ahead and use it right away. All right, so none of these we can go for. Let's we'll take the one that's got the most upfront payment. And I'm pretty happy with that. Good stuff. Oh, uh, you know what? Am I still doing the cheapest? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I am still doing the cheapest car stuff because I just want to make sure we have as much money as possible for this season as we're continuing to build things up. Dubai, Ardennes. Still scouting some more drivers. Got another politics. Rolling start. Interesting. This role will benefit progressive teams, which is not us. Uh, will not benefit traditional teams, which is also not us. I guess we'll abstain. I'm going to have a lot of voting power. Uh, nope, did not pass. Would have been interesting. I mean, it's just a different, different take on things, I suppose, but uh, I don't think it really affects us too much that it didn't pass. About to finish the gearbox. Awesome. Scouting done for Bindo. Passionate, which actually lowers his earnings he needs. White Weather Pro, that's pretty cool. And a Drift Racer. It's very expensive, obviously, nothing we can afford. So we will just ignore him. Al Alina, two eyes, El 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 Eliana. Sim racing champ, chatty optimist, taking acting lessons. None of those are really beneficial to us, so we are gonna ignore you as well. Here's our gearbox. We will improve that gearbox as quickly as we can because it has no risk. Um, let's close you out. Gearbox, max reliability, please. And go from there. Yep, and then we can sign. Do we have enough? Yep, we have enough for the engine. Plus 25. It is risky, but this can be the best engine we can pick up. And that'll be the last part that we build. We're just going to build one part for each slot, each season, just to slowly but surely get our way up to that. Our lead designer. I mean, I know our lead designer is not great, but... Don't really feel like we're in a position to really need to get a new one right this second. I know there's other designers out there. 
that are better. We'll get there. We'll get there. Well, we're really, really ready to like start buckling down and you know doing better stuff for our car. We will absolutely be getting us a better driver or better designer, I should say. All right. Uh, can we fit those new that new gearbox on? Uh, oh, it will be very, very tight. We might be able to make it work. We'll go for it. Why not? Let's just try. I mean, if we have to repair, that's unfortunate because I think that's one of the more uh, costly time-wise to repair. We'll just have to try and take it a little bit easy. If we use um, our reserve driver for practice, does that lower our um, pay that we get from the drivers? Because I know it says they get half, you get half the money if they are used in practice, but I don't know if that means you get half the money if they're only used in races also. I mean, I guess we can try. No, let's try it. Let's just try it out. I mean, she's a little bit less feedback, but I'm wondering if that will help her improve more. Simulate the practice session. We'll find out. We will find out if that makes any difference one way or the other. Because if it helps her improve faster and it doesn't make any difference on the money because the real racer still races, then I um, I would like to, uh, to do that because obviously that would be the best of both worlds. Truth be told, it may not make any difference one way or the other. All right, well, it's currently sunny. I have a feeling, I mean, this is England, so it's probably going to rain pretty quickly. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not going to rain at all. All right, so... Yeah, we'll definitely take Engine Expert if, we, if we're high enough to be able to do that. Because that will help a little bit. 68. That's about as good as we're going to get. Although we can drop the handling gun just a smidge and presumably be closer to where we want to be on that. Oh, that looks good. Uh, so we got 23 laps. This can get us seven maybe. Which would... No, that would actually be really... I mean, if we did it one set and then switched to soft, we would be okay. But we can't do can't, definitely can't do three stints on the, those super softs. And if it's only going to get us like seven laps, goodness, we're going to we're gonna have to drop this down quite a bit. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll change yours. And same thing with the handling. Get that locked in at least a little bit. And we'll do the super softs. And we're going to drop you down to seven laps. Just because we're just we're gonna burn through it so quickly that I don't think it's gonna. We definitely don't need the full full amount. Oh, don't look at me. I'm I'm like, I'm like half try harding here, like trying a little bit. You know, make sure I do like all of the the, the things, the normal things of balance your fuel, balance your tires, and stuff like that. And then we're not really trying in other ways. So go figure. I was just on a airfield. It's pretty cool. Drop you guys down. So I have to we're to burn through the tires pretty quickly. It's actually not that warm out. Very, very cold out. 40, 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty cool. Burning through fuel pretty fast. Um, you're the one that has the lesser gear box, aren't you? Yeah. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Alright. About to... Uh, we we'll probably need to pitch you in now, don't we? Um, we'll drop down to yellow and you to yellow. I think we can make it one more. Yep, we're going to be fine. So we're going to pitch you in. Do we do another seven laps? No, because then we don't have enough fuel to do that last stint. So we're going to have to go soft so we can maximize the fuel. Probably just use the full ten. Nine would be fine, it looks like. And that'll work. Did I accidentally cancel that? 
I think I actually cancelled it. My mouse was not quite where I wanted it to be on the screen. Yeah, there we go. Pit. There we go. Oh, somebody crashed. Just that one sector, though, so it's nothing that's going to help us in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I'm going to drop down to neutral. Just tires are a little bit low, but we have to make it one more lap, unfortunately. All right, so we are going to swap the swap to softs. Ugh. Swap to softs for you as well. And everything else looks good. Just do high and overtake for now. Same for you. Just settle in, see what what we can do here. I mean, again, I'm not really expecting anything, to be fair. Looks like we're not going to have any rain this entire race, so that's, that's good for us. I say that. I mean, we do seem to do okay in the rain, so. Drop you down to neutral. But I have a feeling we're just going to be 18th and 19th. I mean, these other guys are improving their cars a lot, and we're just not. We're just, we're, we're taking a different strategy, and we're just focusing on the headquarters. So that when it's time to improve the cars, we're getting a humongous bang for our buck. Um, so you can go one more lap, especially if I drop you down to medium. Drop you down to medium as well, just to make sure you can go two more laps. We will go ahead and pitch you, and we'll grab your softs, fuel, eight laps. We'll do nine, just to give you a little bit of cushion. And you can go ahead and pit as well. You have six laps left. Wow, he must have gotten lapped. Um, we'll drop you another seven. I mean, maybe I do these tires then. Parts are going to have to be how they are. And we'll go with that. Definitely no rain. And we'll go high and push for now. See if that, See if we can make that work. Keep an eye on the excess fuel. Don't expect to be anything higher than 18th, 19th, though, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Strangely, that's probably what's best for us. Paying last place gets us that extra money. An extra 2.5 mil for the year, basically. All right, I think we can pretty much settle in here, finish the race out as is. Not much else going on. Looks like the fuel's fine. Looks like the tires are going to be okay. So yeah, there we go. Last lap, right? This is our... I assume it is. Yeah, because we're getting blue flag and everything. There we go. 18th, 19th, as expected. Strategy working, I guess. I mean, I know it's probably boring, but it's, it's our foundation. It's our strategy that we're going for. Maybe next season we start pushing a little bit more. Mostly because I just don't want the videos to be boring. If I was doing this completely offline without you guys at all, I would continue this strategy um, for the next couple of years until I just completely decked out our headquarters. And then I would start trying. Because there's no time limit on this this challenge. It's just, you know, get it done, you know. And if our, our headquarters was completely decked out, then you'd have to assume that we'd be in a position to uh, to just skate through the rest of the, the, the level ups rest of the time. All right, let's see here. Oh, I didn't check the pay. I forgot to check the pay, but I do want to see how much she improves. She, yeah, see, she improves more. She was improving by half of that by not practicing at all, but by practicing, she's improving by quite a bit more. So, and I didn't see the pay. Oh, no, here it is. Here's the pay. Um, drivers. It looks like we get the full amount. So yeah, she to practice to get her full bonus. And then, yep, oh, that works perfect. That's awesome. That is very, very good for us. And I'm, assume, I'm assuming she would get even more of a benefit if she actually raced. But, you know, she will. She will get there. We'll work her into the racing soon. Um, one more race for this episode. I forgot how many races we'd already done. We've only done one this episode. 
car condition looks fine. I guess I'll take the interview. You finished well. Yeah, I know that. Sure, we just had things to turn down. Seems to make no difference whatsoever. Pit crew. We actually had two mistakes. That is very unfortunate. Scouting report. Vanessa. Flat spotter. Tires look like 50p pieces again. Okay. First slap here, religious minister. And then meditates. Okay. An interesting character. If I must I'll be honest. Uh, how are we looking here? Mistakes. Oh, wow. Those are rough. Um, I mean, we are getting late in the year, to be fair. And so some of these guys are probably getting a bit tired. So you have good refueling and okay, you know, the rear jack. So we might put you there. Um, we have to remove this person out. Uh, you're not a terrible alternative to that person. And then actually you're going to be better. And then I can put this one person in here in this place. Still gives us a few percentage of potential mistakes, but I mean, it's going to be the way how it is. I don't want to hire an entire rotation at the moment. We just got to skate through this season with what we got, to be honest. All right. Uh, car is getting fixed up. New material for suspension. It's probably going to cost us money. No, thank you. I mean, although plus 35 is pretty good, but not yet. Not, not at the moment. We're not. It's not going to really help us. It's not going to make a difference for the season. Let's go and report finish. And Dagger. Excuse me. Dagger Stephenson. Wonder Kid. Oh, goodness, he's getting paid a lot of money. I mean, he's a good driver. But uh, too rich for our blood. We finished repairing both cars. Improved parts. Uh, we do want to get a little bit of reliability. Oh, no, that's right. We were focusing on that one by itself because we wanted the extra boost. Um, I mean, I don't know. If it really matters too much. We'll plug one of these other things in there. Make sure we're focusing on reliability a bit. And then we can focus on performance after that. Because this will... We're about to finish our engine. And that will be it for this season's improvements. Not big improvements, but something. There's our engine, actually. This is a risky engine, too. I mean, slightly. It's not much. We probably could skate through it, but we're, we're just not going to. All right, we definitely want to... Oh, no, we don't want to improve that. Sorry. We want to... Uh, honestly, I think we're probably okay on the the reliability overall i mean i'll still plug that one in first as a kind of a trickle effect but other than that i don't think we need to worry about anything else um we'll continue to focus on primarily on performance get all of our pieces that we have just built completely maxed out on performance and i think that'll be good for us I'm just getting a couple of drivers All right, what we got here? Uh, Adrian, Adrian Earl, stable, cut speeding. No, thank you. We do have new sponsors. 500,000 up front plus 100,000 per race. 750 up front. And then 350 up front, 150,000 per race. I think this one's definitely the worst because this just comes out to what? 50,000 plus 150, so it's $200,000 per race. This one comes out to, actually, this one's a little bit less. This one's what, two... 80, 290, something like that. I math is if it was eight hundred thousand, it would be two hundred thousand per race. So this one's a slight step down, although it's more up front. It would actually be more this season. This one is um oh we got a seven. No. Guess my math is not working in my head right now. But yeah, seventy, it's about seventy something thousand plus a hundred. Actually, this one is better. Never mind. Just per race, this one is just better. That is fascinating. Huh. Was not expecting that. Less up front, but just better overall. Okay, we'll take it. We will take it. Rio. All righty. Almost done with our next headquarters thing. We're actually done building parts, so if we got enough money for something else, we could do another another headquarters thing before the end of the season. I don't think we'll get enough to do another one yet. We need what eight million for the next one or seven million, something like that. 
Scout report. Andrea. Smart. Okay. Well, I mean, good for you. Mia. Bad at feedback. Rival with driver. Neither one of those really helps us out. We have to check to see if we're still scouting people. If we've run out of people to scout. Now we still got a few more people left to scout in here. And we're about to finish our next headquarter thing, which will give us a few more drivers to be able to scout. Performance work is done. Let's come over here and plug in you and you. Yep, that'll work. And that will get those last couple pieces completely maxed out. Bang on target. I mean, I can't get any lower. Can't get any worse. Um, apparently, they're happy with our healthy balance sheet. I'm pretty happy with our healthy balance sheet as well. Upgraded scouting facility. All right. Oh, no, it's not quite done yet. It's about to be done. There it is. So that HQ piece is done. Um, this is max level. Very cool. We've got the best scouting facilities in the... I mean, it's the best you can have. So some of the best that, you know out there. Um... I mean, the people at the max level teams probably don't have much better. Next one would be the forecasting center if I continue my little strategy of uh, doing what costs the cheapest. Definitely need to get the factory done at some point. Uh, what was I going to look at? Oh, yeah, scouting. We want to... I'm probably going to close all of these guys off because I want to scout the new guys that came in. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, go back. We can always scout these later because these are guys that are actually on teams. Misclick in the square. Got to be exactly on the square. Um, the rest of these are probably okay for now. But I, what I want is to find all the people that have no jobs because these are the ones that presumably are the, uh, the hidden drivers that we just brought in. So in theory, there's some good drivers out there that nobody else has found yet. And I would love to snatch them up before somebody else can find them. Although, if we're the only ones that have a level three, are we the only ones that can see them? I don't know how that actually works, to be honest. Gaspar Fuentes. Born leader, hates chasing. Don't we all? Yuri. Pay driver. Filming documentary. His marketability is higher. Pay driver. He's kind of expensive, though. I mean, we're not we're not going to get him. We're going to have to pay him like 350 360 So he's really not worth our time. Unfortunately. Akhmet. Akhmet. Flat spotter. Timesheet hero. Yep, again. Not really what we're looking for. All right, keep going with the 13th or above. Part fitting. I don't think there's any new parts that we need to fit at the moment. We'll go with that. Not that any new parts would make a difference. <laughs> we're going to be last place no matter what happens. All right, come on. Let's, uh, let's get through this race. And get through this season. Glad we've gotten quite a bit done this season. We got you know a lot of buildings still finish we got a lot more to go i mean once we start working on the factory and the design center stuff like that that's going to open up a lot more other buildings as well like the helicopter pad and things of that nature so we got some good buildings still ahead of us um yeah we're gonna practice with you put you in there because of the feedback go and simulate i mean i might try next year i'm using quotes by the way I, you can't see them where's my fingers I gotta find the camera because the green screen. We might try next year. We're not the green screen, the uh, the border. Um, but um, we um, we probably still will simulate the practices for a little, little while longer. Just, I mean, I don't mind trying a little bit just to try and get like not the last place. But we're still just not in a position to really be pushing for first place. So the practice sessions just, I mean, it's important to do them. They do take time. You know, it takes time to do those. If I do a practice session, if I kind of need to do one race per episode. Which I can do, don't get me wrong. I don't mind doing that. But I'm trying to breeze through these boring ones early on to get to the more exciting ones down the road. And that's that's kind of my goal. Uh, engine expert, race trim is fine. And maybe get you maxed out hopefully soon. Car setup, 74%. We'll go with that. Uh, is there going to be water? Nope, doesn't look like it. And oh, looks like downforce could be actually... Adjust it to be better. Let's move you something like that. Just to keep you guys kind of in close to where you were. I mean I know that's poor, but 
I don't want to get very poor, so we'll go with that. Uh, so we got 25 laps. We can get seven, which would leave about 18. We might be able to start on softs. It's going to be tight, but I think we can start on softs. We'll drop you down to eight laps here. And, oh, you actually have an excellent. Good for you. Which we do want to try and lock in that excellent because we know where it's at. Uh, speed balance needs to come down just a smidge, though. Should not be off the, the, the line. I'll do just a little bit more because of that. All right, something like that. That should be give us close to the excellent. And not on off the charts there. Same thing for you. You're probably okay. And I probably will just drop you down to seven laps. You're just not going to get much out of it anyway. And that will work for us, I think. I mean, really? I mean, our only target is try to get 13th or above just to get a little bit of something. All right, there we go. Come on. Let's do this. Eleventh and thirteen. Hey, we're thirteenth. Oh, we were for a second. I mean, I obviously know it's not going to hold up. I'll go down to actually, we're going to go to yellow. I kind of forgot for a second. Let you go a little bit longer on the laps than I meant to. I'm actually probably going to drop you down to medium actually for just a few laps, just to make sure we have the fuel that we need. Oh, somebody crashed. But we just need what six more people to crash, and we're thirteenth. I guess not six more people. We need. Five more people to crash because then we'd be 14th and 13th. All right, you got one more lap of fuel as you cross the line, so we will schedule your pit now. Yeah, we're definitely going to go back to the mediums now at this point. Fill it up. I mean, there's just barely enough there. And yeah, we'll take the full fill up, I guess. As soon as you cross the line, we will schedule your pit. And you're going to go mediums as well. Fuel options, you have 18. We could probably do... Uh, we'll do the 10. It's not much. I always feel like I'm wasting some... On that half-gallon fill, I don't know how much of a... If it does a full time or not, but uh, it just always feels like I'm wasting a little bit. Did let your tires get down a little bit lower than I probably should have, but I think you're going to be all right. You're going to be last place like you were expected to be, so... Not really much different. I'm just going to leave it on yellow for this middle bit. No no point in worrying about it too much. Just let them do their thing. We're not actually dead last. We're 17th and 19th, which is interesting. Probably push a little bit more on the tires. They are pretty cold. No weather. Relatively cool day. Far so good. Just kind of settling in. Okay, well now we're down to 18th, 19th. Which we're not really pushing that much, to be fair, so maybe that's part of it. I mean, if I do well enough this middle bit, I can actually push a little bit more in the, the last bit. I do need to push a little bit more, actually, because I just realized your tires are actually pretty low already. So we do need to uh, try and use up a little bit of fuel here. Um, and we will go ahead and pit you in now. Uh, 10 laps remaining. Fuel options. We're going to be 9 laps. We'll just fill it up. That's fine. Pit strategy. Balance is okay. Um, we can go ahead and drop you down to neutral on those. But we will go ahead and keep the overtake on the engine because you got to get at least... You're going to get one more lap and that's going to be fine. That's going to go there. Uh, 9 laps remaining. Okay, we'll do that. Everything else looks good. Cool. And we'll just do... Honestly, we're just going to... Honestly, we're, we're pretty close. We're pretty tight. So we're going to just kind of settle in and just do the the middle, middle of the road for both for now. Just to finish off the race. It does say you both have excess fuel, so I guess we can at least push you up to high until that goes away. I don't think enough people have to pit, or close enough to us at least, that will make any difference on us... Um, 
finish this out. We're just gonna be 18th and I mean we just we just have slow cars. I mean that's just the nature of it. And that quite frankly is kind of the plan. Settle into this last place for uh, most of the time. I was you having gear issues, I'm not gonna push you anymore. You're okay, man, your engine's great. Oh, that's right, because you have the thing where higher engines things don't lower your engine uh, reliability, which is awesome. Just keep it going, girl. You got this. One more lap. I know, I know. Just one more lap. Just hang in there. Final lap. We are so slow. Look how bad we are. 17th place is so far up there. We have terrible, terrible cars. Oh, I miscounted the laps. I guess we had two more laps when I said that. There we go. Yes, I know it was a complete disaster, but for all intents and purposes, it went according to plan. Alrighty, there's that. Saving that. Get our improvement boost for Chi. Our investment in the future. No, actually, somebody went down because of uh, cheating, basically. As long as we're still happy with the chair, or the chairman's still basically happy with us, then I think we're okay. As long as Chi's still improving, it's always good. Yeah, so he still looked at 50%. I don't know why it looked like it was higher than 50% a second there, but... uh. We're definitely still at 50%. She's still improving, doing good, kind of getting her way up there. She's got a long ways to improve on a lot of these. Consistency, smoothness, things like that. She's a long ways off, but uh, we'll get there. Take our 1.6 mil. And uh, again, I don't think we're going to be able to build another building before the end of the season. And we're going to have, what, another 3 mil? We might be able to build the other the final weather station thing. It'll be tight. Uh, but yeah, that's the save, uh, and that's going to be the end of that episode. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.